TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we have more vaccine news on the positive side. Moderna out with their numbers, 94.5 percent effective markets. Loving that news for the potential for the economy to open back up. You have the S&P up 32 points at 36.14. The NASDAQ tech stocks pulling back a little bit on that rotation. NASDAQ negative 37 points, 11,896. The Dow accelerating higher, up 450 points right now. We came within a point or two of 30,000, the same exact high that we had on Monday of last week when we got the news from Pfizer and BioNTech last week. Russell accelerating up 2% right now to 1778. You see the spike last week to 1815, currently just below that level at 1778. We got some action in crude trading higher, up $1.64 at 41.77. The gold contract had been lower. Getting back a lot of those losses, though, you see the spike lower on the vaccine news just prior to 7 a.m. this morning. You go from 1890 to below 1865. We've gained back about $20 from that spike low to 1883 right now. Silver down just 18 cents as it's getting a little bit of a pop as well. And we'll jump over to notes and bonds. We get the 10 year off three ticks at 138. The 30 year off 11 ticks at 171.27. You're talking about a 10 year yield right now. 0.91%. All right, jumping over to the news of the morning. Moderna vaccine found highly effective at preventing COVID. We like to see those headlines. 94.5% efficacy, big number. And uh, it also suggests the interim data. It's interim data. You're still dealing with about 30,000 people in this study. Uh, it may also block severe cases. So I believe you had something like, I'm going to, I think they had the numbers in here, but if they didn't, uh, yes, five participants who received two doses of the vaccine became sick with COVID compared to 90 of the participants who received the placebo. It also appeared effective in preventing most serious. There were no severe cases among people who got the vaccine compared to 11 volunteers who received the placebo and had a severe case so even if it doesn't completely block it if it takes it from the ability to be a severe case to just something we get over good news on that front as well and this vaccine can be stored in a refrigerator for 30 days so talking about ease of portability um, just the process of administering it great news all around markets gotta love this volatility folks and we'll finish it up with a vix Trading at 23.23. Stay tuned, folks. Basil Chapman is coming up next for Larry. And don't forget about his class on Thursday on the front page of TFNN.